Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. So in this video today, we're gonna to be doing a first impressions using Joa. So Joa is inspired by K-beauty or Korean beauty. And if you didn't know, Joa actually means I like it in Korean, which I think is really cute. And you know, I like it, I know you guys will like it. That is actually their slogan. It's what the brand stands for. I like it, you like it. I'm so excited for this first impressions video. And I wanna take a moment to thank Joa for sponsoring this video and providing me with this beautiful beautiful PR box that I'm holding here. So inside we're going to be looking at seven hero products from Joa. I'm going to be discussing with you guys the benefits of each product and displaying the prices on the screen as we go along and as I try them. So everything I'm testing out today is going to be linked down below in the description box, but I also wanted to let you guys know that Joa is sold exclusively at CVS, so you can check out all of their products in store or online at CVS. I'm ready to try out these products with you guys, and if you're ready, let's get into the tutorial. So I have to say upon opening the packages and checking out the products, the packaging is really nice. I love the way it feels, it has a really good quality feel to it, and the designs are just really pretty and the colors, I just overall am a really big fan of the packaging so far. So I'm gonna start off this look by using a product I was really excited about initially when seeing all these products, and it's the Glow Activator. This is a Radiance Primer, and it retails for $9.99. This is a Universal 24K Gold Primer, so there are actually real gold 24K flakes inside of this primer. I can see them as I'm looking at it and it's just so pretty and I feel like this would look beautiful on the skin like add a nice glow and I normally go for something that's very hydrating when it comes to primers so I'm excited to try this out and see how it works. Before getting into this tutorial I researched all of these products because I really want to let you guys know all of the benefits of them, everything about them. I feel like that would be very beneficial for you guys to know when you're shopping for these products if you're checking them out or if you're just wanting to know about them by watching this tutorial and I want to know what products I'm using and what I'm putting on my face and I really want to share all of the benefits and details about these with you guys as I'm doing this tutorial so I did look up the benefits of the radiance primer and it says that it primes the skin and moisturizes which is very important to me because I love my skin to be really hydrated before I go in with any other product afterward, like foundation, concealer, and powder. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply the glow activator to my skin, and I'm gonna be using this brush from Joa. This is the foundation brush, and I'm just gonna smooth the primer all over my skin. Okay, it does not have a scent, but it looks really dewy and like glossy on my skin. Almost looks like a gloss, which I like. So I did like a pump of the primer and my skin feels super soft, like to the touch. It's so soft and it does have a nice glossy shine to the skin, which I personally really love. I love dewy skin, so this primer I'm already really liking. I also wanted to mention this primer has a pump, which I think is a plus. I prefer pumps over squeezy tubes like any day. I think it's really pretty, the gold flakes in it. I can see it on the back of my hand and when I apply it to my skin, it's a little more natural, so it's not like glitter on the skin, but I can see there's like a glow there. So now we're gonna be getting into our base, and I'm gonna be using the Truly Yours BB Cream, and this is described as a radiant beauty balm. This is a tinted BB cream, and what I really like about it is this is a multi-purpose product, so this is makeup, skincare, and primer, all in one, and I have to say the scent of this is really nice. It's very calming, it's very pleasant, and initially when I did open this up and just kind of like see if the color matched my skin, the scent of it, oh, it was just so, so good, and I really enjoy that. Very, very pleasant. This product has many benefits, so it evens out skin tone, it primes with light coverage, it conceals imperfections, so you can actually use it as a concealer, and it also hydrates and moisturizes the skin. I also wanted to mention to you guys, this BB cream does not contain any SPF, so if you do wear SPF on a daily basis, you will have to apply it before applying this. All right, so I am ready to put this on my face. I think the match is gonna be really good. I just love the scent, love, love, love. And I'm applying it with the Joa foundation brush, the same brush I used for the primer. Gonna add a little bit more just to see if I can build up the coverage a little bit. I 
I overall really love the way this BB cream looks on my skin. I feel like my skin looks really dewy and luminous. It's very natural and I just think it's really pretty. So I overall really like the BB cream. Now I'm gonna conceal using the Truly Yours Dark Circle Concealers. I don't know what color I am, so I'm gonna try both of them on and see which one matches me the best. The applicator is pretty cool. It's like a twisty and it has a really soft sponge on the top. I'm just gonna conceal under my eyes and around my face and the high points. So I'm gonna be setting my face using the Selfie Ready Setting Powder, and this comes in three shades. It comes in translucent, peach, and banana, and I'm gonna be using the translucent shade today. It also retails for $8.99. It's a lightweight powder with a matte finish, and the benefits of this product is that it's oil controlling, it's non-drying, and it's a breathable formula. It has a really good sifter in it, so you can kind of sift the powder out without it being too messy, which I really like. So I'm gonna take some of the powder and just press it under my eyes. So I'm using the large powder brush from Joa and I'm just swirling it into the powder and I'm going to tap off the brush and just set the rest of my face. So the powder definitely mattifies the skin and gives a really smooth, soft look. It almost looks like a filter. It's very blurring on the skin. My pores just look blurred completely. Now I'm gonna fill in my brows. I'm gonna be using the Brow Down To Me Precision Brow Pencil. And this is a ultra fine tip pencil with a spoolie at the end, which I really love. When it comes to brow pencils, I need that spoolie to really comb through. And I love that this pencil is very thin and it is very fine so you can get really like defined hair-like strokes with it. It retails for $8.99 and it comes in six shades. I'm gonna be using the shade Brunette today. It also claims the formula is smudge proof, budge proof. It's not going to move at all throughout the day. It's going to last. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill in my brows with this pencil now. I'm just gonna comb the hairs up first and then fill them in. So definitely, as you can see with my unfilled brow and then my filled in brow, I created an arch and I created a new shape to my brow and then added these hairs in the front of my brow really easily with this pencil. And the front hairs of my brow, they're definitely not as thick as this side and I was able to draw in hairs and they look real. So I already really like the way this pencil is performing and the color is really good too. So we're gonna be using the Birthday Suit Unveiled Palette today. And I thought this was very fitting because my birthday is this month, I'm an October baby. And what better to use than the Birthday Suit Palette? I also really liked the colors in here because there are bronzes, there's a smoky brown color, which I thought was really cool. Really pretty neutral tones. So we're gonna be dipping into this today. I'm first gonna go into the shade Cappuccino and I'm gonna place this into my crease. So now I'm gonna dip into the shade Upbeat, and this is like a metallic bronzy shade. I'm gonna place it on the inner and outer corners of my eye, going into the crease. Now I'm gonna take the darkest shade called Evil, and I'm gonna put it on the inner and outer corner of the eye. So now I'm gonna do something that I do with a lot of my looks. I'm gonna use the Selfie Ready Setting Powder. And because this is translucent, this is perfect. So I just put a good amount of it in the top of the lid. I'm gonna take a flat brush. I'm using the foundation brush from Joa. And I'm going to go along the shadow where I've blended and I'm going to create a line of powder. I'm gonna leave this here while I finish off the rest of the shadow, and this will give me a really precise eyeshadow line later when I dust it away. So if you are a little messy with your blending, this really helps and makes everything look a little more put together. So 
So now I'm gonna grab the gold shade in the palette called Pleased and I'm gonna place that right on the center of the lid. Oh, that is so pretty. I already really like this color a lot. It's so pretty. And then I'm gonna pick up the lightest shade called the Whipped Cream and I'm gonna put that right in the center of the lid. And I'm also going to put it in the brow bone too. So as a last step for the eyes, I'm gonna take the shade Please, which was the gold, and I'm gonna pop it right in the inner corner of the eye. Now I'm gonna wing out my liner using the I'm So Fly liner from Joa, and this is a felt tip liner. It comes in two colors, black and brown, and I'm gonna be using the black one today. And this liner retails for $7.99. So because this is like a felt tip marker, it glides on the eyes really easily, and it always makes your eyes stay fly. The benefits of the I'm So Fly liner is that it's richly pigmented, it's waterproof, so it's not going to move, and it has a super fine, flexible tip, so it's really easy to wing out your liner. So now I'm gonna go ahead and wing out my eyeliner with the I'm So Fly liner. And I'm just taking the darkest shade in the birthday suit palette called Evil, and I just lightly smudge that into the bottom of the wing. And I typically do that for like all of my wings. I like to connect to the lower lash line. So just kind of smudge that out. So I really felt that the liner was super easy to really get into the inner corners of my eyes because it's really fine and it is flexible. It's not stiff. It's really easy to kind of slide it along your eye and it's not gonna give you any trouble at all. It really glides on like it says it does. So now I'm gonna be popping on the Ice Cream Volume and Define Mascara. And I love the name of this because I love ice cream and this is eye scream you get it there it's like really cute and i like the packaging on this i think it's really pretty i said that at the beginning of this tutorial that i love the packaging on everything i just think it's so cute now i'm gonna pop on some false lashes and we can finish off the face now we're gonna bronze, highlight, and blush up the face. And I'm using the Be My Everything Blush and Bronze Palette. This comes in two shades, Sunrise and Sunset. And I'm gonna be using the Sunset shade today. It retails for $13.99, and this is a bronzer, blush, and highlight all in one. So as you can see, it's like an ombre fade. And I think it's really pretty because you have everything in this palette. You don't need separate products, it's all here. So the benefits of this product is that it does everything. It bronzes, it contours, and it adds a healthy glow because everything is in here, bronzer, blush, and highlight. So using the large powder brush from Joa, I'm gonna dip into the bronzer and start to bronze and warm up my cheeks. I'm just bringing this color right on the center of my forehead too to add like warmth to my skin. When I'm applying this, I'm basically going like in a three shape. So I hit the jaw, the cheek, and then the forehead. It's like in a shape of a three, so it really sculpts the face as you're bronzing. And I'm just applying a little bit to my nose too. So now I'm gonna go in with the blush, and the color is really pretty. It's like a plum raspberry color. I think it's really pretty for fall. I'm gonna dip the large powder brush in there. It still has a bit of the bronzer on it, so it's a nice mix gonna tap off the excess and then go on the backs of the cheeks going into the bronzer. Wow, that is a really pretty color. I'm gonna pick up the highlighter in the palette and I'm using the Joa fan brush to apply it and I'm just gonna go on the tops of the cheeks and like a little bit over the cheeks as well. For a little bit more glow, I'm gonna be going into the Be My Everything Highlighter Palette, and this is in medium. These powders are so soft when you touch them. They just feel really, really silky. So I'm gonna go into the shade Sunbeam and apply that to the cheeks. That is so pretty. 
And I'm gonna pick up the shade Sunbeam with my finger and I'm just gonna apply it right above the brow. So it says with the Be My Everything Blush and Bronze palette to use these separately, like apply this one first, this one, and this one, which is what I did. But I do think it's really pretty to mix all of them together like that and then apply them to the cheeks. I think it looks really pretty just like all over the face and on the center of the nose. I think it adds like a lot of warmth to the skin. So I definitely think you guys, if you do get this, you should try mixing them because it's so pretty. For lips, I'm going to be using the I'm Your Jelly Bay Matte Lipsticks, and these come in 10 rich shades, and they retail for $5.99. I'm going to be using the shade Babe today, and this is a really pretty mauve -y color. The benefits of the I'm Your Jelly Bay Matte Gel Lipstick is that they are very pigmented lipsticks, and they are non-drying on the lips because they are a gel. They do dry really quickly with that beautiful matte finish, but they are not going to make your lips feel dry. So I'm going to go ahead and apply this color to my lips. It's a really pretty, like, pinky mauve color. I also wanted to mention to you guys the shape of the lipstick itself is like round so it doesn't have that pointy really classic lipstick tip. I feel like this for me is easier when applying lipstick because I have more of a round lip so I can just go like this and it won't get messed up. It's like a straight line, so it's really easy to apply this, and I really like the shape of the lipstick itself. So I'm gonna be using Joa's Auto Lip Liner, and this is called Lip Candy. It's in the color Brick, and I'm gonna line my lips. This is gonna give a more berry tone to the lip, and I really wanted to bring in like that berry color because of fall, and these bronzy eyes, I wanna warm up this lip with this lip liner. With some lip liners, you can't go over the lipstick, but I really like these because they're really smooth and you can actually apply them over the matte lipstick and it blends really easily into the lips. It's not like gonna get stuck and not glide on top. With some lip liners, I feel like that happens a lot, but these are really smooth and they apply really nicely. I typically like a glossy lip, so I am gonna apply some gloss and this is the Mirror Mirror Lip Gloss from Joa. It's in the shade Magic Potion, which I already love that name. All right, you guys, this is the final look. And my final thoughts are, I like it. I really enjoyed everything I tried today in this first impressions. A lot of these products really wowed me. And I have to say my favorite product out of everything was the primer. I loved the way everything looks on top of it. And it's just a beautiful base. Like everything was amazing, but I love this so much. This is something that I am probably going to be using every day because I think it's so glossy and glowy and so pretty. And this was one of the standout products to me that I just loved so much. And the foundation and everything and the eyes and the lips, they just look so beautiful together. Everything's really natural and glowy. And I think this is a beautiful line for you guys to check out and check out some of their products that I used in today's video. Overall, everything was like a 10 out of 10 for me. Like I loved everything. I thought it was amazing. I also wanted to mention to you guys, I'm going to be hosting an Instagram giveaway with all seven hero products from Joa. And if you guys want to enter to win, then be sure to head over to my Instagram to see all the rules to enter. And I'm going to have it linked down below in the description so you guys can just click it and head over there. I hope you guys enjoyed this video today, seeing me try out all of these products and giving you my first impressions on everything. If you did like it, don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more tutorials. And I'll see you next time. The waves cut through me, hypnotized by the sounds I'm breathing in. Hold tight, hold tight, chemicals collide.